Hey guys, Tarkon here, back with another video. Um, I have one for you guys uh, that are in that crowd, that camp that likes signs and wants to know, hey, is my, uh, is my uh, manifestation unfolding? How do I know? I want to see physical evidence of it. And you know, I think I've done a video of a similar nature before, or maybe it was in a podcast episode where I was talking about numbers and synchronicities, uh, which can be indications of you sort of shifting. Now, I'm, I'm going to approach this one more from the direction, from the perspective of this quantum shifting, um, which, of course, if you, uh, you know, if you watch my other videos, I'll tell you very often that all of these different thoughts... Uh, schools of thoughts, different theories about law of attraction or quantum shifting or all that kind of stuff really comes down to the same thing. Uh, I mean, the basic idea is that there are infinite versions of reality, infinite parallel universes, and likewise, infinite versions of you living out different realities and different timelines at the same time time concurrently basically right and all of this is happening ba you know basically it's all happening at the same time concurrently means at the same time so there's really no and when we talk about timeline shifting it's a it's a good way for us to explain it and for our minds to kind of grasp the concept because our brains are so designed to look at time in a linear fashion right <clears throat> but there's a lot of evidence out there that I'm not going to get into right now but there's a lot of evidence out there that says that time doesn't function this way, that all the moments that have ever existed exist now or will ever exist already do exist at the same time concurrently, sort of not in a line, but more or less on top of each other, almost like blocks, right? Like building blocks or those blocks that you see kids playing with, right? Um, <clears throat> which I guess are building blocks, right? Um, so the idea is that when you, when you approach it, uh, from this perspective, from this sort of quantum shifting, quantum leaping perspective and parallel universe perspective, what's really going on there is that you have a desired outcome for something, right? Maybe it's your relationship. You want to be back with somebody or you want to have more money or you want to be in a different job, have a different health situation. The idea of course, is that there is a version of you out there living all of those different possibilities, already right this is just a, another version of you because you are not a complete entity in the sense that you know you you are i am tarkon you're bill or joe or barbara or sally you're just a fragment it's a fragment of a larger entity that we're all a part of right we call it the source we call it the universe uh your higher self your inner self uh god whatever you want to call it it's, it comes down to the same thing. We're just fragments of that thing. And this, and this entity is able to sort of split into many, many different fragments, many different versions of you. If you're sitting here watching this and you're a woman, there's a version of you out there in another reality that is living life as a man. Um, if you are, have a darker skin color, there's a person living, there's a version of you living um, a reality out there with a lighter skin color. Uh, and all these kinds of things, all right? <clears throat> you know, I happen to be bald. There's a version of me out there with hair. <laughs> I always found hair annoying when I had it. Um, this is much easier, to be honest with you, and cheaper, by the way. Um, so, so here's the thing, because one of the major components is, one of the major ideas of this, of course, is that if you want to be living in a different kind of reality, which means basically you're gonna be on a different kind of timeline, right? Um, and one of the things that we, we say, of course, is visualize, uh, live as, as if, right? Get yourself into that sort of <clears throat> the mindset of the version of you that is already living the desired reality that you want to be living now. You have to get on the frequency of that reality. But another way to put it is to say, get on the frequency of the version of you that's already living out the reality that you desire to live out. So there's a version of you out there, let's say you want to be back with your ex. Of course, there's a version of you out there that never broke up with your ex to begin with. There's a version of you out there that has already gotten back with your ex. And what you're doing is you're, gonna, you're shifting yourself into the mindset, into the vibration, awareness, and frequency of that version of you that already has what you want, right? And that's why it's so important to move away from thinking about how things are now because the more you think about how things are now if they're not pleasing to you you're you're kind of repeating the same timeline or you keep shifting back into the same timeline of that which you of living experiencing that which you don't desire so 
this is why sort of the ignore the what is reality if it's not pleasing to you right now is so important and to shift yourself into the, the mindset of who you would be if you were living the desired outcome that you want so the thing is though <clears throat> it's not a game of pretend or an imaginary endeavor or activity what it really is is you there is a version of you out there already living that so you want to plug into the mindset of that person of that version of you that already has let's say uh, that new relationship with your ex or that specific person that you're interested in and I say that for the purpose of this channel because I know most of you watching that's what you're interested in um, so using that as an example um, you're not really attracting anything to you. And we use the term law of attraction because it's easy to understand. It's so much a part of the kind of culture around this, this, you know, this lifestyle, this way of thinking and what we teach here, that it's easy for people, people to grasp. It's easy for people to find the material and the videos and all the blog posts if we use these key words like law of attraction. But really what's going on is you're not attracting so much because everything that you can imagine Every outcome that you can imagine, desired and undesired, is already out there. It's already being lived by another version of you. Now what you're doing is you're shifting yourself into the awareness of the version of you that's living what you want to be living. Um, and as you do that, what begins to happen is this sort of natural bridge of events. You don't just leap over there because that would be way too confusing and jarring for, you, for us to deal with, right? So what you're doing is you're gradually shifting yourself into the focus and awareness and frequency of the version of you that already has what you want, that's already living what you want. And that version of you has a different idea of reality. It has a different opinions about reality, about itself, about themselves, about the other person, uh, the specific person that has a different, uh, uh, has different memories of how things unfolded. And this is kind of what you're doing when you're visualizing and even affirming, but especially visualizing and especially living in the sense of, like Neville Goddard says, live as if the wish is already fulfilled because the version of you that's out there is the other version of you you want to plug into is already living that. Okay, so what you're doing is you're connecting when you feel it, and this is why feeling is so much more important than just repeating and speaking. Um, you have to feel as if you're in that reality. And as you're doing that, you're actually you're actually communicating vibrationally and energetically with that other version of you living in that parallel reality. Now, of course, I titled this uh, video, The Biggest Sign That You're Shifting. <laughs> there are many signs that you're shifting, and the number of signs can be an indication that you're shifting. There are many ways that your inner being lets you know, right? So that you, your mind can kind of interpret that a shift has occurred. Um, but one of the major things, and that I've, in my experience, uh, that I have experienced, and that I know to be a huge sign that you're shifting, or that you have shifted timelines, is deja vu. Now, You've all experienced it, and you've probably all heard about it, but for those of you that haven't, a brief explanation is déjà vu, of course, is French for already seen, and uh, for all you French speakers out there, if, I, if that's a mistake, then I apologize, but that's pretty much the definition that I always find of it, um, and my high school French doesn't hold up, really, but... Um, Deja vu, meaning already seen, and, and all of you understand, I think, what I'm saying when I say deja vu. There's that eerie, weird sensation that you sometimes have when you speak to a person you've never met before, but you have a sense that you already know them, or you've had that conversation already, or you visit a place that logically you know you've never been to before, but you have this sense of familiarity all of a sudden. This feeling of having a memory about that place or that conversation or that event, right? And we call that deja vu. Now, deja vu, though, is really one of those, when you experience it, you're almost for a moment stepping into the shoes of a, of a parallel version of you. You're having different kind of memory, right? Because this current version of you may not have experienced that before, but another version of you has. And in that moment, you're sort of crossing lines. You are actually connecting to another parallel universe. And they're really just right here. They're not this far apart or anything like that. The shift can happen just like that. You know, it could be like in a metaphorical sense or whatever, or just to kind of give you a picture, it's like a centimeter away all the time. Right? And the thing, the way that you shift yourself there, of course, is through your awareness, your vibration, your focus on things. So, you know, if you're a person that always looks down on yourself or is down on yourself, doesn't like yourself very much, you're in that reality. You're going to keep repeating that reality as long as you become, you stay within that focus. You, there are now 
probably uh, amazing. I know there are amazing things about you, but you're not able to see them because you're so locked into the focus and the, and the version of you that doesn't see those things, those amazing things about yourself. But see, here's another example of how this stuff works and why there are parallel, there are parallel versions of you and infinite versions of you because I could look at you and see somebody who's amazing. Somebody else could look at you and see the same thing, but you might look at your, yourself in a different way. You might think you're fat and everybody else goes, you're crazy, you're not fat, but you're not able to accept their version of your reality, of reality of you, their version of you, because you just are not on that frequency because you see yourself in a certain way from them. So that's one example of how that kind of works. So deja vu is, let's say you're shifting into a reality where you are, you know, focused more on loving yourself and accepting yourself and seeing yourself as sort of awesome and beautiful and sexy and lean and strong, what's happening is that there's a version of you out there that is already living that version, that life, that reality, that already has that self-perception. And as you focus on it more, you're actually growing, you're merging into that reality with that version of you. And as that happens, something like deja vu comes along as a major indicator that you have made that shift, that shift in focus and that shift in vibration and that shift in awareness of yourself, all right? So that you might then conclude, hey, gosh, I've, I never saw myself this way before. And I guess I've always been this way. Why did I never see it before? Now suddenly you have a different memory even of yourself, right? You might look at old pictures of yourself and go, oh God, I, I am good looking. Or, or I was happy then when you always have a memory of you not being happy at that time or something similar to that. So if that makes sense. But the very the short of it is, and I don't want to <clears throat> get too complicated about this, and I'm going to do more videos on quantum shifting, reality shifting, but it's really not in the, in the sense of what we're doing here with the whole manifesting thing. It's really not that complicated, and we don't want to make it too complicated. But just suffice it to know when you have experienced something like deja vu, what you're doing is uh, is you have shifted into a different version of yourself, and you're probably much closer to the version of yourself that you've been working on achieving, right? That you've been working on connecting with and becoming in an essence is what you're doing. You're shifting into that reality. And in order to do so, you have to shift into the mindset of the version of you that is living that reality. Now, if you haven't experienced deja vu or not around your, your desire, right? Whatever your major desire is, in this case, be it getting together with an ex or or a specific person, then don't worry. This is not a, a thing where I'm saying if you haven't had it, then you haven't shifted, or you're not on on the tr on track. There are many, many other signs and many other ways for you to tell that you have shifted, and you're shifting all the time. You may not even be aware of it. Most of us aren't aware of it because of this natural bridge of events that unfolds. It seems normal to us. The transition isn't like, you know, shifting, leaping like from here to there. Right, Abraham Hicks always says that hey, if you want to, if you're going like 80 miles an hour on a train in one direction, and you want to be going 80 miles an hour in the other direction, you don't want to just switch directions while you're going 80 miles an hour. <laughs> That's going to knock all kinds of things off the shelves. You're going to get jostled around. It's way too jarring. So what happens is that reality, you know, the train gets slowed down first, and then it comes to a complete stop for a second, and then it starts to slowly move in the other direction, and then pick up momentum as it reaches, you know, 80 miles an hour. So then now you're going in the other direction at the same speed. So that's kind of what that is, that transition into the parallel version of you, into that parallel reality that you prefer to be living, will have these sort of crossover events, these kind of binding events, almost like bridges. They are bridges that will lead you there so that the experience isn't so jarring or upsetting or weird, because it could be weird, right, if you suddenly just quantum leap like that. But but deja vu is really just an indication that you have made a pretty major shift, right? And that's why, because it is a, such a major shift, there's already a sign there for you to see how jarring it can be, because sometimes it is kind of jarring. It's kind of creepy and weird, and what's happening here? But that's really all that's going on there. So that is a major sign that you have made a big transition. And I think in that sense is when, you, when you're experiencing it, um, stop for a moment and ask yourself, how does this feel? Does this feel like something that is getting me closer to where I want to be? Um, do I feel closer to where I want to be? Is my perception changed now? Or is it is it sort of get, putting me in a direction that doesn't feel so good? So you have to sort of learn to read your feelings around it a little bit to determine whether you're actually, you've made a shift into 
a, a desired version of yourself, or at least you're shifting closer to a desired version of yourself. And if that's the case, then just keep doing what you're doing. It, it really is just an indication that you're on the right track. Now again, and I want to emphasize, emphasize this again, if you're not experiencing deja vu, especially around your desired outcomes, don't worry about it. This is not a sign that it's not happening for you or that it's stopped. And I don't want you guys to go out there now and try to have deja vus um, because now you want it so badly. You're still, you're still shifting yourself, all right? And what you want, the version of reality that you prefer is already there. It already exists. So there's nothing for you to get or run after or chase because all you're doing is shifting your awareness, your focus. That's all it is. All these parallel realities, parallel universes are just like a bunch of radio frequencies going out at the same time. You're the receiver, so you're just going to pick up different channel. That's what you're doing. So in order to do that, you have to, of course, tune yourself to the channel that's going to pick up the frequency that you, pres that you prefer. In order to do that, you have to change the way you perceive, the way you think, you have to start living and feeling, especially feeling as if you already have what you want. And that's the whole idea of living as if, acting as if, speaking as if, and um, as Goddard says, um, assuming the wish fulfilled, the feeling of the wish fulfilled, right? So I want to do a video about that because it's something that's been on my mind, and I know a lot of you guys enjoy the quantum shifting videos. And really, you know, it's it's so simple. I could do one video about quantum shifting, um, but I like this idea of like touching on different aspects of it. So today, I wanted to talk a little bit about sort of that, the deja vu, because it's it's a it's a great way to explain how this happens too, right? So when it happens and you feel good about it celebrate that and just kick back and keep doing what you've been doing if it's not happening don't worry about it doesn't mean you're on the wrong track doesn't mean what you want isn't happening it's coming in other ways or there's other signs that are showing themselves to you no doubt about it whether you're perceiving them or not whether you're seeing them or not it doesn't matter they're always going to be there and you are always shifting so and this is kind of a nice thing to know. If there are infinite versions of you, you can shift into infinite versions of you at any given moment. There's really no doing it wrong. There's really no going backwards and then it stopped. There's no like, uh, oh, it didn't work and now it's over, right? So this idea should really be encouraging to you because it means that there's always the possibility, always the chance that you can shift your reality, that you can shift into a, a preferred version of your reality, a better version where, that you feel better about, that you that you want, okay? So I hope that this was not too confusing or weird. Um, I want to do more videos about that. I'm feeling a little bit allergetic, aller, allergetic, allergenic. So uh, my voice is a little rough. Um, there's <laughs> This flower is blooming like crazy, and it's, it's lovely, but it's... Uh, you know, I get a lot of allergies this time of year. But anyway, um, on that note, thanks for watching. And all the new subscribers, there have been a few of you. Um, thank you and welcome to the channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do so uh, right now. And like the video if you like the content. And um, also, I want to mention the, um, the Facebook group, Manifestation Lab group. Is picking up. Um, I've changed the setting to private. I didn't realize it was public, but so if you go there now, um, you put in a request to join, I'll, I'll approve you, and then you can, there's already some cool posts, there's more people coming on, so that it's, it's going to be a place for you guys to kind of support each other, share ideas and theories about things, talk to each other, and build a community around this stuff, because it's so important to do that, I think. Um, sometimes when we're on this journey, it can feel very lonesome. Maybe the people in our immediate lives aren't really on board with it. So it's hard for us to know who to turn to, who can I commiserate with, who can I exchange ideas with, right? So this could be a good place for you to do that. And I think it's much better to embark on a journey together with other people than it is alone. So please go over there and join that and you'll find the link for it in the description box. Also, if you want some private coaching with me, um, there's also a link down there for that. And thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a great week, rest of the week. There'll probably be another video or two before the week is over, but I'll say it anyway. Have a great week, and um, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.